Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day on Facebook, somebody posted a picture of a name inside of a polygon, and uh, they already figured it out. But I thought I'd show how to add a little bling to it, I guess you'd call it. I'm going to make a polygon. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to bring it in. Now, pretty important, go select it all and go to object and combine it. Now I'm in the center of the page. I'm going to hit P, put this in the center of the page. I am going to left click, right click. I'm going to make it in black. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make it in red. So it's all a red hairline. So this would cut out, but here's kind of the trick. This thing is 30 inches big. I'm going to make my nudge factor 35. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to move a copy over. I'm going to take this copy and weld it. So that's going to cut out. But then I'm going to take this copy and intersect it. And then I can move the intersection over. And if you look, I got my nudge factor. If we do it in black, and then nudge it up to our welded word. You could engrave it on the wood. You could So you could turn that in something other than a hairline and engrave it. I'm using somebody else's file. I always use points. And you could engrave that, but even quicker, you could run it twice and vector cut this into the wood. So what it's going to look like, it's going to look, like it's part of the letter. And, you know, really now that I kind of look at it, you might want to delete that line. You might want to delete that line and probably this line. But this way it's going to engrave, so you'd have to do that on both sides. I hadn't thought about that. So you're deleting that line. And what it is, it's not a cut line. It's just going to now let's, it's still together. Let's uh, nudge it down. So this is what it's going to look like. But that would it vector engraving. So what I mean by that, let's put it all back to the top. Let's get rid of this one. And the easiest, you could color map this very easily. But so let's put this up to our, in our laser bed. Uh, I've got it set on 48 by 48, but that doesn't matter. And, you know, then again, it's 30. So I'm going to just make my nudge factor 33. So it won't go all the way. And I'm going to take my black line and I'm going to nudge it out. Actually, I want to take my red line because I would want to do my black first and then vector and vector cut that, but cut it like at 100 power at 50 speed that won't go through the wood. And then you could nudge that out of the way and bring this back in and then cut that out and it'll cut it out. But what I'm trying to express, it's going to look, it's going to help highlight the, the, the name. You'll be able to see the N more and the E more by it's going to be distinguishing. And also we'd probably want to take away this black line in this black line. So that way it just kind of extenuate. So what it's going to look like, it'll be easier to read. I guess you could test this, make sure you got all the black lines away by filling that in with a solid color. That way it'd be a good way to test. So I kind of played around with this, doing the same thing with a star and just do the same thing. Hit the plus key on the keyboard, take this one and weld it. Take this one and intersect it. Let's move our intersection to the side. Let's turn them black and then bring them back. And now this one for sure, you're going to cut away these extra lines. But by having them here, it will actually cut them. Um, trying to figure out what I want to. Yeah, we want those other lines. We don't, I messed up there on top. You'd want to cut these lines. So this was going to extenuate, accentuate the, the, um, the star itself. And I hope I'm making, let me make those lines extra thick. So we just kind of, 
kind of show them off. Let's make them 12 points. Well, the thing is so big, we're going to have to make it like 100 points. That must not work. I didn't hit OK. There we go. There's 36 points. That's too much. So that's what it's going to look like. So for this, it's going to be the same thickness because you're going to vector engrave that. So do the same thing we did earlier. And vector engraving does it a lot quicker. And, and, and what's so good about it, if it's not quite dark enough, uh, you can vector engrave it again. Just make sure you move the whole thing at one time. And then move your red out of the way. Nudge, don't move. Of course, you'd want to turn this back to a hairline. And then hit that with the laser. It's just going to cut those little bitty black lines. Now, a lot of you are going to go, well, red only cuts. Well, any, any hairline is going to cut. But that's going to do that like in two seconds. And then if it doesn't look dark enough, run it again, then move it out of the way and move this one back. And then this way it'll cut it out. I hope that made sense and helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.